Hello again. Uh, this is the second part of this uh, lecture about table view and custom cells. All right. In the previous video, we were able to show information from a custom class in the uh, in these uh, cells that are already provided from uh, for us for, uh, in uh, uh, Xcode. What about if you want to design your own cells? And I'm going to show you how we do that in this video. Okay, so if we click on if we click on the main storyboard again, and look at the cell that we have here. Right now, if you look at the property, we have subtitle. Well, you can select any of these, but you can select something called custom. And the custom cell will allow you to design your own cell. So, for example, you can say we can add uh, a label. Okay, and I'm gonna make this label this big. Okay, and you can make it go across if you want. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another label, and this label is gonna be smaller. And I'm gonna add another label here, and this is smaller again. This is one for description and one for the phone. And I'm going to put the image here. So here you can put an image of you. Okay, and I'm going to shrink it. Okay, and then you can make it, if you want, like this size. All right. Now you can do what with this image? If you want to make this bigger, you can, of course. You can make this image. Uh, if you want to make it like this, you can make it rounded corner, okay? And this label, I want to make it centered. I'm going to make it bold. And these guys, I'm going to make them smaller. Okay. Okay, 15. All right. Now we have a lot of space, but that's okay. Now this is an image, this is a view, so you can change the background color if you want. Okay, if you select in the content view, and then you can select the background color. You can treat it just like, an, like a view. And it's called content view, cell.contentView. All right, how about this image? This image, you can make it, again, you can make it around the corner by running and sending, uh, adding a runtime attribute. You can say layer.corner radius enter and then you can say here number and let me just make that 20 or 15 okay for the radius all right now what happened with these things well what happens is that you need to tie them to you, can, you need to access this label there's two ways they access these controls in this view there's two ways to do it. One way is that you use the content view, and then you say you get your access. Remember we had the views. Remember view with a tag. You can get this view and cast them, okay, uh, two labels. So you can have one, two, three, four view, and then cast them properly, and then you can set the attribute. Okay, this is one way. The other way is that you provide a custom class that is table, that is a, a table view cell. Right now, if you look at the identity inspector, you have UI table view cell. Well, you can have your own custom class that just like a UI view controller, table view controller, whatever. So how do you do this? You just go in here and right click, new file, and go connect touch class. And here you will select UI table view cell, and you give it a name. So it's gonna say store, store table view, cell okay and then you hit okay next now create now this is my table view this is the the class that i'm going to modify that will have the attributes that i uh, that i can set okay to show them on the uh, in that cell so for example this is the name of it and this is remember the type is ui table view cell if we go back to this main storyboard you take the cell, and now you say, instead of this, I'm using the store TV, table view cell. All right, I'm gonna compile it. And now you need to create your outlet to that class. So you click on this, click on this, 
And now notice you have automatic, you have two classes associated with this now. You see, this is stage number two. What you can do, click on here, automatic, you have two. One of them is your for the table view controller and one for that table view cell. So if I select this, now I can create my outlet. Okay. Uh, let's see, I need to do this. Uh, we want to go to the other one. Now I can create my outlet. So I can do what here? I can add a few spaces here. This is going to be my store name. So I'm going to say LBL name. And this is going to be the description. LBL object. Okay, LBL description okay and this is going to be the phone lbl phone okay and then the last one is going to be my image lbl or uh, image <laughs> image store store image okay image view and image okay all right that's it so now i'm done with this now all i have to do we go back to the storyboard view controller okay we go back to the storyboard table view controller and in here Instead of saying it's a UI table view, I'm gonna copy this. So you'll always have a copy of it. And then I'm gonna paste it here. And instead of this, we'll say what? Store table view cell, the one I just created. All right. I don't need this anymore because I have my own outlet now okay in that cell so i'm gonna say cell dot notice you'll see you'll have what do we have here the this is that image image view but we also have lbl name dot text equal this here i've got a copy of it here okay and then the other one cell dot lbl description dot text equal s dot store description and then cell dot lbl phone dot text <laughs> equal s dot store phone and the last one is image view i know they got cell dot image view view dot image and then what do we do here we say it's equal to same thing we have here so i'll just copy it command copy command v and compile and hopefully all good all right now you can't see the rounded corners because the image doesn't have it's not uh, it's transparent okay it's transparent maybe we can change the image background so you can see it so you got the idea now these I customize myself of course it doesn't look good but you can make it the point is that you can you have the power to make it whatever you want it to whatever you want to make it look like let me just change the image background to see if you can see the border they are uh, border colors so here is the image, here is the cell, content cell, and we want to do this, the background color, uh, let's see what color, what color, all right, we didn't select the, the image content, and this is the tinted color, we didn't select, we need to say the background color, okay, background color, all right, <laughs> bad, but anyway, you get the idea. 
And now I'm going to change this. I don't want to see the accessory, but you see how that works. So if you go in here, if you click, if you go to the cell itself, and then we say none here, okay, for the accessories. So now if you run it, all right, you still don't have, we don't have that runtime color, runtime environment. Interesting. Anyway, maybe we didn't do something right. Let me check it out. If it doesn't work, we'll quit on it. Then. <laughs> all right. Did we do this here? Uh, radius, layer dot radius number, correct. Yeah. I didn't like it. All right. Okay, so that is what we have. This is the end of the second video, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next videos. All right.